you welcome to the subscribe and subscribe views and follows welcome and thank you for tuning in all right so i'm gonna record this again because when i first recorded it i did not like what i recorded so i had to record it again and um and plus <laughs> you'll see why i'm just like uh, with this wig but anyway um this is the <laughs> vivica a fox hair collection natural baby hair and quotes swiss lace front wig invisible lace part wig this is connect line couture fiber safe for use with curling iron 356 degrees fahrenheit to 392 degrees fahrenheit this invisible lace part deep lace front hand tied swiss lace silky soft swiss lace silky soft no scratch undetectable resilient um the color that i have on is the fs4 slash 30 this is the style royce and the color that the stock card um lady have on is the 1b and the available colors are the base colors are jet black 1b oh well sorry jet black which is one 1b number two four fs 1b slash 30 fs 4 slash 30. the royce available special colors are p2216 and p4 slash 2730. um the recent ops of the new fratura care instructions swish gently with my sh shampoo and cold or lukewarm water rinse thoroughly then lightly squeeze hair into cold water after towel blot shake and um shake out and drip dry do not comb as the hair is completely dry comb into desired style using a wide tube comb or finger styling only starting at the bottom and use a wide tube comb gently detangle hair with the wide tube comb um for curling set your iron between 356 to 392 degrees fahrenheit do not go above 392 because you will not have a wig anymore that's what i said um long hair products should be braided into a few sections sleeping also means to prevent tangling of the hair don't sleep on wet hair or it will mat or tangle up and don't spray or put heavy pomade on synthetic hair products this will dull and mat the hair because this hair is not real that's what i said all right so they have some new futura curling um instructions and i'm not going to read that you can read that on your own so that's on all in the stock card so please keep your stock card if you want to if not take a picture of it and that's basically it all right so here we go all right so now i'm going to get into the price of it i'm going to be looking down on my phone and i purchased this from hair stop and shop again this is the vivica a fox natural baby hair royce it was thirty eight dollars and fifty cents the shipping was six dollars and ninety five cents the taxes was two dollars and seventy cents and the total came out to forty eight dollars and fifteen cents okay so I order this again from hair stop and shop and i do do like hair stopping shop so that's basically it about that okay so let's get into the meat of the video and let you know why i'm a little in about this wig all right so i'm gonna do a 360 and when i come up close i'm gonna really talk about it after that so this is the left side i do have the leah look but i had to put the bobby pin because it kept flopping in my face it was too much in my face this is the right side this is the front and oops this is the back. Oh, sorry. Put the hair to the back. This is the back. Okay, it's not that long. All right. So, nice fall color, you know. So, I'm going to do up close. All right. So, you guys may see some of the the um, the um finishing powder. I apologize about that. So, okay. The parting is pretty good. I put the concealer there or whatever like that. But y'all probably can see what the problem is. By just looking at it. If you can't point it out, then I mean, maybe I'm old in. But on the right side, my right side, this looks terrible. Okay, to me it looks terrible. I don't mean to use that word really, but I mean, I want to be honest with you guys. Now, when I open it, it looks very terrible. It's just like, what? It looks like, I don't know, the machine, it got stuck in the machine. And they tried to fix it up and press it maybe and try to... You know use the grease setting that i just said and you know i don't know but that looks bad and i feel self-conscious about wearing this outside because i don't want nobody coming up to me talking about something well your your track is showing just to let you know from one girl to another no i don't want to be in that predicament so i don't know what to do i mean maybe i should email them and see what's going on because I mean, I don't know, and it's just crazy because I I don't like that. Now, if you try to fluff it out or whatever like that, it's not that noticeable, but I notice it. So it's just like, no. But let's get into the lace. The lace goes all the way around here, all the way around town, and the lace is soft, so it's not irritating, and it goes all the way around here, all the way down. I don't want to flip it up too much, and it is um, big head friendly, but... And the lace is a little on the light side, so maybe, you know, you'll see that when I sit back, you'll see this part is a little light. I try to put some, you know, um, finishing powder right there to make it a little, you know, to my complexion, but um, I guess it's not doing a good job. But anyway, um, yeah, so, like, like, no. Okay, so, like, that part that I showed you is, like, 
I don't know if it got stuck in the machine. I don't know if because it's a lighter color. Because sometimes if it, if the wig is a lighter color, it tends to come out a little bit thinner. Or maybe I got a bad batch. Maybe, you know, like I said before, probably got stuck in the machine. And they tried to fix it or got stuck and they just let it go through. Like, oh, it's okay. They'll pass. But, like, I'm not trying to be picky. But, come on. Like, I mean, let me know if I'm old in. Like, let me know in the comments below. Should I send them an email or should I just let it go? Or, I don't know. And I don't want to put no headband over or nothing like that. It's just, like, it just looks bad. It doesn't look nice. Like, why is it so thin on this side? Like, it's nice and thick over here. Like, I don't know what I can do to make it better. Like, you know, if I put a mascara right there. But I don't think that's going to... I don't think that's gonna do it so I think I'm gonna send them an email and tell them that you know something's going on right there and I don't know what to do I mean the parting is good the curls I like the curls and everything the style but that's the only kind that I don't like it's just like because it's like what can I do about that I can't do anything about it so I'm self-conscious about wearing it out you know maybe some people are probably like, oh whatever I'm, I'm gonna pass by but me no like I'm self-conscious about that I don't know about you but I, I don't want to be going out there and my track showing like no that's just no <laughs> I'm sorry but you know that's just me you know I don't know how everybody else feels but that's just me but anyway um let's get into the tangling session of this the tangling is pretty good as little to no tangling it's pretty good um there's little to no shedding like I'm you're not know, leaving a trail or nothing like that and that's basically it like I really do like it a lot the the, the cons I'm sorry the pros I weigh the cons but I mean, this con is just a little bit big, so it's, it's kind of outweighing, even though it's only one con, it's, 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 it's like real big to me, you know? Um, so I don't want to sit here and give it a bad review, because if that wasn't there, I would be like, this, this wig is good. So right now, this wig is decent because of that, okay? So I'm not going to wear this out to no time soon because of that. So I'm going to probably try and contact them and let them know that this is what's, ha what's happened to the wig. And let's see what they say. I'll, I'll send pictures. But let me know if I'm ODing, you guys. Because you guys know I be ODing sometimes. So, you know. But I don't know. But that's basically it about that. Um, you know, the cap construction under that is pretty good. If you guys saw it already, you know, the inside it has, I think it has one or two combs. One comb in the bag, adjustable straps. But that part of the construction cap right here in the front, no. That's just No. Like, I didn't notice it until I put it on my head. Like, I didn't notice it when I was showing it on the camera or, you know. But once I put it on my head, I was like, why do I get mad at it? Or, like, somebody done teased it up or, like, they ran through the machine, like, 50 times. And it was like, oh, like, wait a minute. Well, let's just package it up. Like, no, it don't just package it up. You better do something else. Like, you better tell um, Vivica Fox, like, look. <laughs> This one didn't come out right, so we're going to have to chuck it. I don't know. I'm not, you know, maybe I'm being too picky. Maybe I'm being too picky. Just let me know, you guys, because I, I know, you know, I'm not trying to OD or throw this wig on the bus, because I'm not. I definitely am not, because, like I said, if that wasn't there, I would totally give this a five stars. But right now, it's getting a 3.5, because I don't know. So, I mean, I would recommend this wig. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe it was the, I don't know. You know, manufacturers, things happen, you know, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. So I'm not over here heated or frustrated because I do like it. Like, it's very work friendly and it's everything friendly, but I'm self conscious about that. So, yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Um, if I'm ODing, would you email them and let them know what would you do in this situation? Because I don't know what to do, you know. So, uh, I'm sorry, Vivica Fox, I'm not giving you a bad review. I do love the wig, I do like it, I do like it, or what have you. Um, it's just that that part is just like no no what are you doing like that's just so no <laughs> but that's basically it you guys if you get out of here if i forgot anything i'll definitely annotate it in the video um if you have any questions comments, concerns you will definitely ask me marquee 1970 gmail.com and i'll definitely brought back to you so i hope you guys found this helpful and i really apologize in advance but yeah that's basically it peace bye to my Jeep Seeger, the sun and to my set, to my wider, keep me money on my bed.